Hello everyone and welcome back to Part Development in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. In this video I present a new part that may be useful to people and I will be releasing it as part of a nifty parts pack. That will be the first part in that pack and it is called the Station Nodes. And it is not this stuff, this is the HAB3 that I'm going to be using in my To Mars and Beyond series, so this I'm not releasing. Uh, but I realized that uh, when we launched it, we had to put a fairing on it and have some stuff in the fairing and it didn't look particularly good. And so I wanted all that to be part of one part. And this is that one part. Like so. And so this is the part that I will link in the video description. And there'll be other parts because I have dreamt up other parts that might be useful. And we will explore them in future videos. So what this is, is obviously it's a nose, it's 4 meters in diameter, it's actually more like 4.1. And in stock it would be 2.5. The stock config should work fine, I think. <laughs> so uh, it, it, I think it'll work fine. Uh, and what it is, it's like this. So it's got solar panels here, and it's got little 1 kilonewton thrusters, 4 of them, and some RCS thrusters. So it's, it's all bundled like that. And the idea is uh, you will put it on any station you like. Uh, 2.5 meters in stock should be convenient. And then, of course, 4 meters. Any 2.5 meter part in stock will grow to 4 meters in realism overhaul anyway. And then you'll put your standard docking port there. And the docking port will not be obstructed. Okay. And so anything should be able to dock to that. And the solar panels will generate power. It's about 2.6 kilowatts that they generate. And uh, though the sun catcher vector may may not, it, it should work right, but if you have a certain module here, it might block the solar panels. I've I thought about various ways of mitigating the fact that this panel is actually blocking the view out the window, uh, but you know we could just rotate everything. I mean, obviously for your own station modules, you know this this option, but there's other options. Uh, for your own station modules, that won't be as much of a problem. If we root to this part and take this off, since that's not going to be offered. So there's two nodes on this. There's one for the docking port and one that faces down for the station module of your choice. And so if we have um, utility, the standard hitchhiker storage container, this one. In realism overhaul, it's sized to 4 meters here and sort of shiny. Uh, but yes, it fits fine, and then you can have uh, your basic necessities here, if you will. And it's all very convenient, and things can still dock to it. Uh, so that's the idea. You can launch your modules very simply like that. And this has a control core, and you might have noticed uh, in here it's facing downward initially, and that's because uh, it's facing so that if you control from here, the thrust of the engines will go in the right direction. So yeah, that's why you have to flip it around like that. It's a fairly high detailed part. Partly that's because of uh, ridiculous detail on the RCS thrusters. Um, I probably uh, they're from my uh, Schustrut engine pack, and so yeah, I just pulled them in, and maybe they're a bit overdoing it. But anyway, let's check how it does outside. Uh, in fact, let's just have it with this hitchhiker storage container instead of that, just to make sure that it's providing all the necessary stuff. Okay, so I've already checked it with HAB3, but HAB3 has other features, including its own fuel. So here we go, going up into orbit. With HAB3's own fuel, this can uh, provide 200, more than 200 meters per second to HAB3. And, but this is a much smaller module. Hat 3 is 40 tons, this is just 6 tons. And then the, the station nose is 2 tons fully fueled, about 1.2 tons without fuel. And here we go, RCS thrusters. Uh, we have recharged. Let's just check if I retract the solar panels. It's uh, no longer charging and it's got a power draw of 0.1, which is what the uh, station nose consumes for its power uh, for its control core. And then throttle up. Those are the one kilonewton thrusters. They take 10 minutes to provide this 300 meters per second for this. Uh, interestingly, I said to 4 kilonewtons, but for some reason it's only 3.7. I don't know why. But, okay. 
Obviously, you don't like them when you actually have something docked to it. They are tilted out a little bit, but clearly the plumes are very forceful. So that's only for rendezvousing. Once it's docked, it should not; those should not be used. Weirdly, it starts with the engine active, so you'll have to watch out for that and make sure to turn it off. I think it has something to do with having it on something with solar panels. I don't understand at all. But I've noticed that with other things that have solar panels on them that they tend to already be active and spontaneously do, do things. But yeah, it's a uh, trouble with building too many things into the same module. We've got RCS uh, engines, the control core and the solar panels. And of course the animation for the solar panels. That sometimes that confuses things. And apparently it has done so with the power because uh, we only have 0.05 electric charge here. I, again, that's, I think, KSP Interstellar. And I have KSP Interstellar in here, so that might be a complicating factor that nobody else needs to worry about. But in here, in the station nodes, we have 1,000 electric charge, so... I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Anyway, it should work out fine if you're in a less complicated install, hopefully, uh, with just RO or stock or JNSQ, it should do its thing. Obviously, it's not necessarily the slope that you might want on the top, but I had to shape it for my HAB3, right? That Its original purpose was to fit the HAB3 parts, so it was meant to fit in particular this airlock like that, so that's why it's shaped the way it is. So. It'll be the first of the nifty parts that I provide. I have some other ideas that are very niche and I couldn't call it niche parts because somebody already made a mod called niche par parts, which I like. I've used niche, niche parts before. So I call it nifty parts. I hope nobody has gotten that already. If they have, please tell me I'll change the name to something else. And yeah, there'll be a bunch of these kinds of parts that have a peculiar purpose that I don't think people have come up with before. So, yeah. Anyway, so the part will be in the video description. Uh, and I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.